history has shown us that there's never been a social movement without artists at the front of it, without artists who will shake us from our comfort, who will expose the injustice, who will take complex ideas and distill them down into their most potent forms. Truth to Power is a gallery that brings together 200 visual arts pieces plus 25 hours of programming, conversations, performances, all designed to bring the community together and explore a whole range of topics. We wanted to make sure that people had an opportunity to have their voices heard and to do it in such a way that not only brings together the community of young people but to do it against the backdrop of the DNC and the RNC allows us to bring in those politicians, to bring in those people who are making the decisions and are representing communities across the nation so that they can see and hear what people feel about these issues. really important that we're showcasing the actual climate of America and not what a specific type of corporate media or a specific type of company wants you to know about what's going on. We currently are the world's leader in mass incarceration and we've basically built ourselves into a corner by creating a pipeline to prison. A couple of my friends have been shot and killed by police officers. These things that are happening aren't new. It's just now we're capturing them. But the problems haven't been fixed. Is this a setup? People are pissed, and rightfully so. The most important thing to me are the issues, and that people are speaking about the issues. And those things that we find important, those conversations that must be had. Using the arts, using performing arts, and using visual arts as a way to really talk about issues of social justice is what all of this is about. This political process isn't a 100 meter dash. It's a marathon, and it's a full, lifetime commitment. It's about us as a people. And if we're going to successfully do this, we all have to be engaged. We all have to be involved. But understanding why it's so critically important for you, your friends, your family, your community, and for people you don't even know. The decisions that's being made right now is being made by people who supposedly represent you. If you look in Congress, if you look in Washington and see the folks that are representing you, they look nothing like you. They're not in your generation. They're not from your neighborhood. They're not in your tax bracket. So the decisions they're making more than likely will not benefit you. So you have to make sure you put proper representation into office, whether it's a police chief, the mayor, the governor, the congressman, whether it's the president. It's important that your voice is being heard. The only way it can be effective is you galvanize together, mobilize, and, and, and do it as a whole. The reason why it's so important to vote is that the policies that are on the table right now will affect the youngest of us for the rest of your life. And I think it's really important for people to take charge of their livelihoods by getting involved in voting, by getting involved in the social issues in their community and across the country. We are in really difficult, challenging times and we need leadership that is listening to us. Hope is 2008. And hope's not right now. Knowledge. That's it. The information is here. It's all there. Hope is like when you're waiting for somebody else to come. You're waiting for the cavalry. I need some helicopter to come help me out. Nah, f them. I want to knowledge myself up so I could change my community myself. Throughout history, both in the US and around the world, it's young people who have led social change movements, who've had the optimism and belief that they can change the world and the courage to stand up and do it and fight for it. The statistic is you have to vote three times before you're a lifetime voter. It really takes getting it into making it a habit, making it into something that you really, it becomes your personal story. People are busy and they're in their lives and we're so often trying to survive rather than even just thrive. But when we have those reminders from each other and go, hey, your voice matters and it's important. I don't even know how you're going to vote, but I want you to vote.